Two ghosts, trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome back to the new distressing and chilling top 3 ghosts trapped on video format. Get ready because the videos we're going to see will keep you petrified in the chair. If you feel a chill behind your spine and you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and press the bell to stay up to date. Let's go immediately to see the position on the podium number 3. The Guardian of the Abandoned Cemetery Part 2 in the previous episode of Top 3 Ghosts Trapped on Video we followed Paolo and Debbie of the PIT Paranormal Investigation Team engaged in the investigation of an abandoned cemetery in the Alps mountain range, late at night, in the snow and in the middle of nowhere, grappling with crosses that moved by themselves and an entity that showed itself through the sensors of their Tesla car. Armed with equipment and devices, they decide to get out of the car. Um, um, uh, eh, gli ho lasciato i fari apposta accesi. Eh, così ci illumina un po' sta roba macabra. Guarda l'ombra là dietro delle croci. As soon as they get out of the car, K2 signals the presence of electromagnetic energy to them. They start a spirit box session with the aim of understanding who they saw in the car sensors. And the amazing and surprising thing is that the answers arrive sharp, immediate and very clear. Listen. C'è un tuo familiare sepolto qui? Sì? Era? C'è tuo zio lì? Sì. E tu chi sei? Eh, infatti. Quanti anni hai? Beh, io non voglio dire, ma là c'è una croce che gli manca un pezzo. Ti dà fastidio che la croce di tuo zio sia rotta? Wow! Wow! Ok, 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 calma, 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 vado, vado a rire. Oh mio Dio! Paolo, non è che è salito in macchina? Literally shocked. The two guys ask the entity what it wants from them, what they can do. Entity Gabriella replies that her uncle has no blessing. Then Paolo promises to return and bring holy water. This time the team returns to the place with Simone. Paolo explains that locals have testified that they see a shadow in the crosses of female features, and this explains Tesla's detection of a female persona. Paolo decides to keep his promise and goes down with the team to pour holy water on the crosses. But Debbie to get close to the cross gets her legs completely wet in frozen water, so the team decides to get back in the car. Oh, che male ai piedi, gelo, Esca, gelo, gelo, eh? si, sì, sto gelando. Io ho riattivato tutto come ieri notte. Mm. Okay. Tutte okay. le telecamere Guardiamo. e i sensori. Quindi in teoria se passa qualcosa, sì. si lo vedi ieri. qua. Okay. Mm -hmm. The guys wait for the entity to show itself to them via the car sensors, they call her from the window, but nothing happens, so they come to assume that having granted the wish, the entity is in peace, but just when they decide to leave that place, something absolutely inexplicable happens. Oppure, lei praticamente non c'è più, perché abbiamo espresso il suo... Te lo giuro c'è qualcosa là! Dove? Dove? C'è qualcosa là! Dove? Dalle croci, dalle croci! Dalle croci! Ma infatti te lo dalle giuro, croci! Te lo giuro! L'ho vi là, là! Non l'ho vista! Là, sì, l'ho vista, Paul, l'ho vista! Non Spero di essere riuscito a filmare, l'ho vista! Era là di fianco alle croci! Di fianco alle croci! Simone manages to film something truly extraordinary, a translucent figure with female features first standing and then kneeling, as if to pray in front of the crosses. An experience that leaves you breathless. Let me know your opinion in the comments. Now folks let's dive straight into second position. The Abandoned Factory, Part 7. In second place we reconfirmed the absolutely insane ILMN Bono Paranormal Channel, with Bono, an investigator who decides to return for the seventh time to an abandoned and extremely haunted 60-year-old car factory located in Ostrava, Czech Republic. In the previous episode, during the spirit box session someone or something had locked him in the room, and then uncovered a dark shadow in the adjacent room. Let's see together what happened in the seventh exploration. What's up? Welcome to Exploring the Abandoned Factory Part 7. I'm here again in the 
the room where I started in the previous episode. Um, all alone again. I don't have anyone, but I have a good flashlight now. This is, I'll show you. Uh, this is its fullest thing. Bono begins his exploration in the same room where, someone or something, had locked one of the doors to him and he decides to start with a spirit box session but gets no response until he provokes the entities by asking to reveal himself. Slyšel jsem teď něco, nebo se mi to jenom zdálo? Udělal jsi ten zvuk ty? Udělal jsi... This door again. Are you kidding me? Is it locked again? No way. I'm gonna try. This never happened to me. Bono really pissed off the local entities, see what happens now. What the hell? Let me try it. They are... Locked again. Oh. It's open this time. Hello? Is there anyone? What the frick was that? What was that? No way. Hello? Hello? Is there anyone? Hello? Hello? What the freak was that? No one. There's a window, I don't wanna shine in the window. How was this possible? There's no... nothing attached to it. Why is it so intense? So this bathroom... I'm gonna close it. I've seen the ghost in the previous time, the shadow figure. I'm just gonna prepare myself if there is again someone. No one? Yeah. There's no one this time. Oh! What the freak? Hello? Completely terrified he decides to go away from those rooms, to return to the room from where he ran away in the previous episode, but at some point he even hears a absurd noise, similar to a person coughing, listen. Are those sounds? Hey! Yet to What the hell dude? I'm... What the hell? Was it like cough or something? Oh... Continuous noises are heard from outside the room, so much so that Bono has to move to understand where they come from. Exactly where most of the throwing of the items came from, Bono sees a menacing dark shadow walk through the door from side to side and decides to stay away from that door. What the f He decides to go down to the basement of the structure, but finds some machinery with work in progress so he decides to go back up. Unexpectedly, someone attacks him and throws objects at him. What the fuck? That is so loud. Definitely an intense exploration, with the nerves of the skin, and a level of aggression to be frightening. We will see Bono in the next investigations, so stay tuned. But now friends, we come to the first place. The heavily haunted house. A man named Lee has lived for years in an old English house, which has been showing clear signs of infestation for about two years. 
On January 28, 2021, Lee posted a series of truly impressive paranormal activities on his YouTube channel captured by his two security cameras. A really heavy sofa moves, and the camera tries to focus on it. And here we are in the bedroom in the middle of the night. Initially the dog is bothered by something, the camera captures the mirror above the bed shaking and moving by itself. A translucent shadow quickly passes from left to right, facing the camera and the dog wakes up and immediately notices its presence, then a chair is moved next to the bed. Impressive sequence of paranormal activities with really heavy objects moving, cameras focusing and the dog immediately realizing the presence. What do you think? Are we facing real testimonies or is it just an extremely elaborate hoax? Our episode ends here, if you haven't done it yet and you like this content, help us improve the service, sign up and press the bell. See you in the next episode, thanks for watching. Good night.